Good evening, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty goddamn good. Wanted to take a little time tonight to shoot a hopefully kind of quick video reply to To Be Serious. Now, I'm, as, as I always do, I'm going to link the relevant videos in the Sarah Han bar, so watch all the videos. Um, get yourself caught up. But just in case, you're too lazy to do that, which I assume that at least one-third of you will be, I'll go ahead and summarize what I'm talking about here. In a nutshell, Jesus Freak 777, let's not pretend you don't know who the fuck that is, made some really disturbing comments. Um, to summarize, someone asked him in a question, I think it was one of his question videos a long-ass time ago, someone asked him, you know, if you were 100% convinced that God was instructing you to kill your child, would you do it? To which our favorite batshit insane fundamentalist Jesus Freak replied, I hope that I would have strong enough faith to follow through, right? Which basically means, yes, I hope that I would have enough faith to kill my child, right? That was the statement. It's the Superfly did a couple of videos about this during which he referred to Jesus Freak as, like, troglodyte, subhuman, this and that. And it was a very emotionally charged, reactionary video, and, and so on and so forth. Basically, It's the Superfly had a very rational reaction to a very sick statement. And, of course, to be serious, took issue with that. Now, to be... I'm just going to directly address you at this point. You know, sometimes when I'm watching your videos, I really don't know what to think. It's like watching a Yoke Up video. I'm not comparing you to Yoke Up. I'm just saying that when I'm watching his videos and I'm watching yours, I oftentimes find myself asking the similar questions, right? I'm sitting here and I'm going, really? Does she actually believe the silly shit that's coming out of her mu her mouth right now. Does she really believe it, or is she just fucking with me? I really can't figure it out. Uh, but sadly, in your case, I think you are serious, right, To be, uh, I, I think you actually are serious. I think you really do believe the shit that comes out of your mouth, and I find it, in this particular situation, hilarious. Fucking hilarious. Now, in your video about It's the Superfly 2B, you express that you are just as outraged and sickened as any person should be by Jesus Freak's statement. You know, you, you understand that it's a fucked up thing to say. You understand that, it, that it's way off the charts. It's irrational, crazy bullshit, right? You get it. You, you said that. But your, your complaint is the reaction to that statement. Um, your complaint is that by calling Jesus Freak subhuman and exchanging, uh, how, how did you put it, exchanging insults for irrationality won't really get us anywhere. It won't, it won't elevate you know, the, the level of conversation. It won't uh, change anyone's mind. Um, let, let me let me see if I can find this quote here from your video. This this is really amazing. You said, quote, using slurs like subhuman says there are no rational grounds to counter his absurdity. That is the dumbest fucking shit I think I've ever heard in my life. You're saying that hearing crazy irrational shit, right? If you hear someone say something absolutely fucked up, right? Like, if, if I turned on my camera and said, um, I, I think that I would be willing to kill a, a large group of innocent people and, and steal their, their money if I was desperate for cash. You're saying that when you hear something that fucked up, that you're going to use the powers of rationality to change the mind 
of a, an obviously irrational human being. That's that's what you're telling me? You're telling me a guy my age, about my age, 29, guy about Jesus Freak's age, I, I think he's in his mid-30s, early to mid-30s, and he still says the shit that he does? You're, you're telling me that you think, rather than react in, in this appalled manner and, and start calling him subhuman and, and, and saying that, uh, hey, Jesus Freak, fuck you, that's sick, you're crazy, you're saying that we should just try to make rational arguments and maybe we can turn things around. To be, what, what you seem to be missing here is that a, that a guy at Jesus Freak's age who's commenting on homosexuality, his response to that is, well, there's always women. I mean, if you're gay, it might not be what you want, but there's always women out there. Right? You're telling me that a guy that said he hopes that he would have enough faith to kill his child needs a good, healthy dose of polite rationality. That's what you're telling me. Are you high? Have you honestly smoked yourself fucking retarded? I, I need to know. I, I mean, I, I can't... He he's done, to be. This guy is fucking done with rationality. It's over. Don't you get it? Don't you understand that there are fucking people in this world that cannot be rationally argued to? They cannot be reasoned with. That has failed. It reminds me of that bumper sticker uh, I used to see here and there around my... All else failed. It's over. Done. One, two, three. Tap out. It's fucking over for Jesus Freak. It's over, and I have to tell you that it's not irrational. It is not irrational to react to Jesus Freak's statement the way it's the Superfly did. His statement was fucking appalling. It was appalling. There is no hope for this guy. It's over to be. Wake the fuck up. And you're right. You're right about one thing yelling at him and calling him names won't change his fucking mind. You're right about that. But neither will rational arguments. Rational arguments do not work on people like fucking Jesus Freak 77 motherfucking 7. They just don't. They won't. If they did, he wouldn't still be saying shit like this. He's a grown fucking man. And he still says... That crazy, absolute, batshit, crazy, fucking nut job shit. I'm sorry. It's absurd to me to even complain about the manner in which someone reacts to absolute, batshit, crazy fucking statements. Who cares? I I'll tell you what, though, Sunshine. I I'll tell you what. If you think that your method's going to work better than It's the Superflies, then, you know what? Be my guest, by all means. Go over to Jesus Freak, send him a PM, and fucking sprinkle a little bit of that rationality on him and see how far that fucking gets you. Stick to the ideas, TB. Stick to the arguments. See how far you get with Jesus Freak. I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and spoil the ending for you. You're going to get nowhere. Okay? Stop fucking bitching about the way people talk and, and react to insane shit. That's a sick fucking thing to say. And if you're, and if you really are sickened, if you really are appalled and outraged, and then what the fuck? Why don't you focus on what he said? Why don't you make a goddamn six minute video all about how sick that statement was? Do it in your polite way or whatever the fuck you think's gonna work, but focus on that. Fuck how people reacted. Of course they reacted in, in that way. It's a sick fucking thing to say. A rational, sane person. When they hear something like that, they react the way that the Superfly did. That's the sane way to react. You are living in a fucking dream world 
if you think your friendly little fucking sugar-coated rational arguments are going to work on somebody who abandoned all rationality years ago. But, yeah, I, I just I wanted to make that clear to you. If you really think your method is superior, then fucking use it. Use it. Make a, make a video to Jesus Freak and give it a shot. You let me know how that went, though. You be sure to do that, okay? <laughs> fucking crazy. All right, that's all. I'm done with my rant for the night. Watch the other videos in the Sarah Hunt bar. <laughs> Good night, guys. Peace.